Hello, my name is Richard. I go by Ultra by Rich, and this is Ultra by Rich Meta Ads. In this session, we're going to be going over how to create a Facebook audience of your website visitors. And this will pull information from the pixel that you install on your website. So I have a different video on how to create and install your pixel. You'll definitely want to check that out first. And then you're going to want to create the audience that that pixel can read from. And that's what this video is about. So you may have heard of other videos that I have referring to this video. So welcome. I'm glad you're here. Excited to have you. So this was a great audience. We actually use this audience to establish lookalike audiences. And then we do different campaigns targeting website visitors. It's very much a retargeting campaign play. So in this example, we're just gonna jump right in and hit create audience from your audience dashboard. And then from here, you're gonna do custom audience. Like I said, you're gonna need your pixel already installed. So make sure when you get to this point, you're ready to have that pixel selected. So as you know, we're gonna be using your website visitors. So the data source is going to be website and then hit next. This is where it's gonna prompt you for which your pixel you have. You may only have one. I've got a handful in here in this account. And then from there, you're gonna select all website visitors. Now I have different videos on how to set up people who have visited maybe your thank you page, uh, people that have spent a certain amount of time on your website. Those are other actions that we're looking for in a different campaign. In this one, we wanna just target everybody that's actually been to your website. So we're gonna do all website visitors. And then you'll notice that retention, the maximum is 180 days. So we're gonna take advantage of that and we're gonna use all 180 days. It is a rolling 180 days, so don't worry about it getting too full. It'll actually constantly flush itself out every 180 days. And then if you had uh, another pixel that you wanted to include in this situation, you could using this include more people feature, or you could actually exclude people from a different pixel or a landing page or other ancillary feature. Again, more videos on how to do that. But in this example, we're just going to make a very basic website source, website visitor, 180 days. And so again, we're going to type in ultra by rich. We label all of these as retargeting because that's how we use them. And then we're going to be .com visitor. Now we do have a secondary one, like I've mentioned called .com lead. And that's when they've come to the website and filled out a form and then visited the thank you page. So as you can see, those are two very different groups. You've got window shoppers and then you've got conversions. So it's very important that you actually start with the beginning of the funnel. And that's what this is. So this is basically square one. I want everybody that's gone to the website. And then I'm going to label this uh, version two since I've already got one created. All right. Once you create it, you'll be prompted to either create an ad or another audience. This is a great chance to actually just go through and create a lookalike audience from it as well. So we're going to do that. You'll notice that it just automatically selected that as the source. That's why this is a nice step. You don't have to go looking for it. And then we're going to specify United States. Now, real quick, I wanted to mention to you our done for you Facebook ads. There's a link in the description for a free one on one session where we actually go through your business and talk about how we can optimize and build out your campaigns. It's free to do. Definitely recommend it. Let's get back to it to six. There you go. That's what you want. So you want six from zero to one to two to three to four to five to six. And this is the most lookalike audiences you can possibly make. You can see it's creating all six now. That may be very overwhelming. You're maybe not ready for that. So you could always default back to just the one. And that's usually what we recommend you doing. And then after that point, just hit create. Okay, here's where it's going to bring you to the lookalike audience you just created. So go ahead and edit that and then just change the name. You're going to want to remove this first part. And then you're going to want to put lookalike here. Lookalike audiences are very much a cold audience. So it's important to differentiate that from a retargeting audience, which where would be a warm audience, meaning you actually know who they are. They came to your website, they got the pixel. In this case, we are just fishing for people that look like those people. So again, not a cold versus not a warm audience. Very important to know the differences and how you label them. Okay, but it, that's, that's it. You just created a custom audience 
of your website visitors, and then you just created a lookalike audience of that in one fell swoop. I mean, this is fantastic. So hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching this clip. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a comment, drop a like, and make sure you subscribe.